and welcome to the channel, to both channels actually because today, first off, welcome to Airbrush Ways, I'm Jack and in this uh, video I'm going to start doing a painting of Michael Dunlop at the TT on the door which is the biggest painting I've ever done and not only that it's going to be really awkward because it's corrugated steel which is going to make it a little bit awkward but <coughs> we'll do what we can and the other channel I'm glad you can be out with Jack uh, doing the motorbikes and the fishing and everything else I do because this might be of interest to you because of the fact that obviously this is where I normally do reviews for the motorbike parts and accessories but today I'm going to do a motorbike on this door so hopefully you'll both get to enjoy this I'm going to time lapse it because it's going to take a long while this is my second day now I've started putting work in at the moment I'm working off the picture on the phone I'm going to finish off uh, hopefully the pencil part of it and then start to do a little bit of airbrush work all the stuff I'm using today is either um, Createx, AutoAir uh, and another one but anyway we'll go into that as we get into it okay enjoy Okay, you can see what I'm doing, uh, I've put this transfer tape onto here, just going to go around with the craft knife and take out uh, the bike and uh, Michael Dunlop all in the same place and then that saves that image and then we'll do the background and then come back to this later. Okay, so bear with me, we'll get back to you in a very short while. Okay, so just, you've just got back to me, I've got the last piece to put in, I'm trying to stop the uh, overspray from going inside here, uh, and hopefully you can see I've cut round the outside with this transfer tape uh, I've gone all the way round and now I can do the outside start to do some spraying and put the background in without fear of uh, contaminating this too much now I know it's probably not perfect but I'm hoping that when I do the spraying I'll spray away from this image and then that will keep everything off there. Okay, so that's me up to now. The next thing is to uh, start figuring out where the lines are going to go and the, uh, the road, the grass and everything else. I'm still working off this uh, Dunlop TT image and from there it will go into hopefully the door okay so thanks for watching stick with me 
Okay, so hopefully this is going to be in focus. I'll have to check it after. I'm using the Devilbis SRI Pro Light. It's a micro. It's actually a HVLP uh, point eight, I think it is. Zero point eight. So I'm going to use this. This is going to be the template. Now it's obviously just a piece of scrap paper and I'm just going to use this to stop the overspray as I'm just putting in now uh, the white lines across the road. I'm looking at the reference which I've got set over there and we're going to mix up Autobahn sealer uh, which will be either a transparent with a white in it or I have some white so we'll use some of that and then that's going to go with a 10% 4011 reducer and then from that we're probably going to add just to help with adhesion I'm going to add this UVLS clay satin 10% in there with the white and the reducer okay so let's see how it goes Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the third day and I did some last night and I realised that because it was kind of freezing outside, warmer in here, this whole panel just got wet through with condensation. We had trouble with it sticking, uh, all kinds of trouble. I've come back this morning and I've just started to put in some grey around these white bits that I've put in. Don't worry about that bit there, I'm not. Uh, all I'm going to do at the moment is just give this. And of course it's rattling with the wind. We've got a storm outside. Uh, so we are just in the middle of trying to get these bits done before the storm hits us too, too, too hard. And the idea is I'm just going to uh, soften off these lines, which obviously uh, are meant to be the white lines. Around the both edges of the road. In case you're panicking like I was at one stage last night, the idea of uh, this particular background is the fact that it's not going to be in focus, which lends itself to not masking as much as just putting in The idea of what's there. I 
Okay, so we'll take this off and just see uh, how we've coped. So now we've took the uh, masking off from around the actual bike and Michael Dunlop. Hopefully you can just see how I've got this set up now. Some of you might notice where this is. If you do, you can always leave me a little comment and you can tell where it is because of that little white house up at the top of that hill so what I have to do next uh, is put in the moorland and the grass and the people which I've started doing there there's a couple of signs going in there and then if we look down to the bottom go across the road and on this side we have the signs starting there no people on this side but we've got the orange coloured signs or they will be when they're done going all the way up the hill till it gets up to the house okay so that's it for now uh, I hope you um, like what I'm doing if you've any comments just leave them below and uh, we'll chat to you soon that's all for today good luck